I was the convoy commander out on the lake bed with a crew of support personnel to be able to take care of the shuttle when it, after it landed. The center out here at KSC relied upon me to hang in there and stay in that role and get ready for the first landing, uh, return from orbit. Now we're talking some serious stuff. There was a, a fear in the program about what would be transpiring on board the orbiter after returning through the heat of reentry and landing on the lake bed. Uh, there was the overzealous requirements that we had to get all of our equipment out there to the orbiter and hooked up to it in 15 minutes. We had to start cooling flow into the orbiter from our ground equipment in 15 minutes. And this wouldn't even give us time to make sure that there wasn't hazardous gases around the orbiter. Everybody who went out to the orbiter on the first landing was in skate suits. They were in self-contained breathing apparatus so that they were not exposed to any of the contaminants that might be around here. We even took the seats out of the prime movers for a lot of these equipment and put benches in there because of these bulky backpacks that they had on the back that they had to operate the equipment with. The night before was difficult. I could not get to sleep. And at the last minute, I realized the only thing that we're going to be judged on on the landing crew is how quick we get the crew out. <laughs> they detected stuff around that hatch. And that involved cranking up a huge wind machine. We got the idea from the orchards and orange groves around here that when it gets close to a freeze they crank up these huge wind machines to try to keep fruit from freezing. So we had one of those in our convoy and it was aimed right at the hatch. I am Roland Norris and that is my untold story from the Rocket Ranch.